this module is an optional module because this module will summarize the core features Next.js has to offer. And it will therefore summarize this course without diving into all the depths and specific features this course does cover in depth, because this here is just a summary. Therefore, you can go through this module without going through the course first, if you got limited time and you only want to learn about the essence of Next.js, you want to learn about the most important Next.js features and dive deeper into Next.js later, then you can go through this module and that's why you maybe came here. Or you're going through this module because you completed the course already, maybe a couple of months ago, and you now want to dive back into Next.js and want to get a quick overview over the core features. Or you just finished the course and you know everything you learned, but still you want to get a quick overview, a quick summary of the core features. And that's what this module will be about. It does not replace the entire course. It just can act as a shortcut to get an overview of the core features or as a summary module. And hence, you can, of course, also ignore this module if you need neither of these things. Now, in this module, I will explain in depth what Next.js is and why you might want to consider using it, why just React.js might not be enough or might not give you everything you want. We're going to explore some of Next.js's key features, file-based routing and page pre-rendering, and I'll explain what that is. And we're also going to learn how we can build full stack applications with Next.js by adding an API to our project and by adding data fetching to pre-render pages with data. We're going to learn all about that in depth in this module. We're going to see many small examples and an example project, a meetups project, which we're going to build, where we render a list of meetups and can add meetups and then display individual meetup data and where that data will be stored in an actual database. And we will write the code for communicating with that database. And we're going to build all of that with React, but specifically then also with Next.js by using the powerful features Next.js offers us on top of React as we know it. And therefore, let's dive in and let's explore the most important question first. What exactly is Next.js and why would we use it?